Hi, welcome to Local Flavor. I'm Deborah Anderson and I'm here in Moreland at Ant Base Community Kitchen. And I'm gonna make something today that probably doesn't sound that good, but turned out to be very, very yummy when I tried it. So, it's called cranberry, like holiday cranberry salsa. And I'm just gonna start making it because there's quite a bit of chopping. I know sometimes people don't like to do things when there's a lot of work, but I like my salsa very small. I don't even trust the food processor to do it, so I cut it all by hand. You need one or two jalapenos, and this is the biggest one I've ever seen in my life. So we're gonna use one. <laughs> also, it has to sit overnight to get all these flavors married together, so I'm actually only gonna make half of what we need. So I made half last night so you could see it all finished. And it is lovely. Anyway, I'm gonna start out with our jalapeno and just chop it very, very, very small. And I do want the seeds out of this. So I'm going to look through and see if I have any really big pieces. I like it really small. I'm putting these in because the cranberries will take the longest and I'll take a break so you don't have to watch me cut six ounces of cranberries. But I also need about a quarter cup of green onion for the whole recipe so I'm only going to need a couple of tablespoons. Let's call that about one green onion. So far, like regular salsa, it also has cilantro. You know, I will try anything if it has cilantro in it. So that's about where we got. Now, the thing with cranberries is they do have little seeds in them. And according to legend, if you cut them in half and shake them under water, it will get rid of the seeds, but I have found this not to be very true. Some of them are just stuck in there. So if you're needing to go 100% seed free, you're probably gonna lose your mind before you're done cutting up these because those, they're so tiny, like a strawberry seed. So I'm gonna try to get as many as I can out, but there will be some in there. And it's no worse than eating a strawberry seed. I have. I, in fact, took some of the seeds in my mouth and just wanted to see how hard they were, and it was like a strawberry seed. So, cilantro, I want to go ahead and wash it. I went through this rebellious period where I thought, I'm tired of washing cilantro. It gets sprayed on at the store, but it does kind of taste sandy if you don't wash it. So, <laughs> you should go ahead and wash it and get as much of the water shaken out as you can. And I'm going to actually roll this up so that it will go a little faster. Chop my cilantro. <gasps> Yikesy, rikesy. And the stems are fine. Stems are fine to eat. I usually don't eat the ends, but the ones that I'm cutting, I don't take them out. I need two tablespoons total, which means one, but I love cilantro, so I actually go went ahead and put more in. Then I need about one and a half teaspoons of lemon juice. I might just guess on this. Here's a half. So in the big one, we need a whole tablespoon, and a tablespoon is three teaspoons, so I thought one and a half teaspoons, because I made half of it already. Looks like we got extra lemon juice because of the dripping. And a little tiny bit of salt. I'm going to use this kind so it melts faster, just table salt. It only takes an eighth of a teaspoon in the whole thing. So for a half of one, I'm just going to do a couple shakes. I'm not worried about getting too much of that either. 
then it also has sugar in it. So I need about a half cup of sugar. I'm just going to estimate on this because I don't want a whole half cup. And the last thing I'm going to put in a little bit more. <laughs> there's sugar everywhere. The last thing I'll talk about is the cranberries because they're such a pain. So cranberries, you can get them around Halloween. You'll find them in the store and they're there for most, most of the winter through the holidays for sure. And they're tiny and you want them to be hard and the nice red. And these are how tiny the little seeds are. I have some that I rinsed already. So I'm just gonna cut them in half and throw them in my strainer so I can rinse them. You wanna make sure to throw out any that are too soft. This one's gushy, so I'm not gonna use it. And then, after I rinse them out, there will still be seeds in there, and they are tiny. But after I rinse them, I cut them about three times each side, depending on how big it is, sometimes four. But I like them pretty tiny. Cranberries are a little bit bitter, so you definitely don't want a big mouthful of them at once. So that's about the size I'm gonna cut those. And I'll cut this whole strainer full. And, when we, and then I'll set it in the refrigerator overnight. So when we come back, we'll take the one that we, has already sat overnight and make it into our display. At Next Tech Wireless, we are here to help you anytime in any way that we can. I broke my phone. Oh. I don't know what to do. Luckily, you're covered by Phone Guard. Oh. We can get you a new phone today. Hey, is this tracking my workout? Yeah. Oh, thanks, buddy. Oh. Switch to us and get a $100 Visa gift card and half off any smartphone. Hey, how do I get signal in my basement? Turn on the settings for calls over Wi-Fi. Next Tech Wireless. Time for something different. Good night, Jerry. Trust Rogers & Associates Insurance to keep your peace of mind through all the seasons in life. Whether you're cozy at home, memory making with your family, on an outdoor adventure with the top down, floating on a boat, or in the middle of harvest, we can customize an insurance plan that's perfect for you. For all the seasons, we've got you covered. Call us or visit us online to learn more today. in her home kitchen. Ease of use, flexibility, fun, the latest kitchen design, Frigidaire Professional Real Stainless Steel for fewer finger smudges, a French door refrigerator, convection cooking, and quiet dishwasher. Have the staff at Genuine Appliance & Hayes demonstrate new Frigidaire Gallery Appliances to find what you want. Genuine Appliance at 1224 East 27th Street in Hayes. Everything a girl wants. Welcome back to Local Flavor. Um, I have gotten my cream cheese whipped up. It's two bricks of cream cheese, and I just let it set out and get to room temp. And then I put it in the mixer just to whip it up and make it easier to spread. You've probably been to a party where they have like a brick of cream cheese and somebody pours jelly over it, and it's so delicious. Um, but this will be a little bit easier to spread, but it's the same idea. I locked this in. So look how gushy this is. Ah, whipped. I didn't have to buy it. Now I will spread this all over the bottom of this pan, this pie plate. And then when I have all of it, I only have half. Remember, I'll put the two whole things in here and then put all of it over the top so it's a nice thick spread. But since we do not have it all, I'm going to just make a tiny serving size just for the tiny studio crew. So <laughs> this is a little bit different. 
We're going to have it with crackers and graham crackers, whichever we like better. But look how easy that is to spread. And I love my little spreader things too. Don't you love having those around the house? Normally I'd put it all in there, but this is why. I just don't want to have it soaking in for a long time. I'll just, you'll want to just put it together when you're going to eat it. Now look how this turned out. It has quite a bit of liquid in it um, that came out just probably from the sugar and the lemon juice getting and the vegetables letting some out. So some people like to drain it. I do not because I think it's just a beautiful color. So why not just keep it? But I'm gonna put this on top of the cream cheese. When it was made, when it was fresh, didn't it look so Christmassy with all that red and green? I like the juice. Look at that prettiness. And then you, I would put a spreader out. Some people would just would dip, but you can use like a Ritz cracker and just pile it on. Or I also have these little graham sticks for if you prefer the sweeter side of it. So it's a little bit sweet and a little bit hot. I, I really love it so much. Mmm. Mm -mm -mm. I'm going to try it with the sweet too, but the Ritz is very good. I will not put the whole thing in my mouth this time. How's that? But it's cranberries are so tart, but it just gives with the other things in there. It, it's just a perfect blend. You will not get enough of this. You'll kind of make an embarrassment out of yourself just eating it over and over. So. And you can chop your vegetables with one of those poundy things, but I wouldn't use a food processor because it'll let too much liquid out. But that's also very good. I would say Ritz is my favorite, but that's very good too. If you have the patience to cut up that many cranberries, I would say absolutely go for it. It is so good. And if you can use your food chopper, that would make it a little faster. You still gotta rinse out all those seeds. You don't have to, it's just a courtesy. All right, thank you. Thanks for joining me on Local Flavor, and I hope you have a chance to try this during the holidays or anytime all year round. It's Holiday Cranberry Salsa. I'll see you next time on Local Flavor.